This particular segment is going to be, and I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as I can, what they never told you in history class. Rediscover the African presence in world history and the Bible. Since I'm a minister, this is going to have a little spiritual connotation to it, but well, at the same time, we're going to bring it back to history as well. Amen. 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 Keep going, my dear. Keep going one time. The prescription is based upon the scriptural declaration. Y'all ever heard this? And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. Uh, actually, it is, the Greek says, make you free. So when you know something that is truthful, it will not only set you free, but it will make you free. And it's talking about freedom in your consciousness. Okay? Mm. Divine truth produces righteousness, which equals divine alignment and the ordering of our steps that makes us free. The truth about our past will assist us greatly to, vigor, to victoriously live while making positive contributions to our community. Okay, let's keep going. Collective goal for tonight. Since there is a heritage trail, y'all anybody ever heard of Hansel and Gretel? <laughs> Come on, y'all gonna talk to me enough. Y'all heard of Hansel and Gretel? All right. They got lost, right? Right. Amen. How did they find their way back? Breadcrumbs. Bread they had to follow breadcrumbs all the way back. But we're gonna follow some breadcrumbs of evidence that's gonna prove where the heritage trail of our history and our faith began, okay? Uh, since there's a heritage trail that stretches from the dawn of history to 2012, we're going to explore the major contributions of the original seeds that our African heritage have made towards our understanding of world history. And I do want to make sure, I'll get to it at the end, we are talking about world history, not his story. It's well, the difference between his story, right? I'm not gonna say that again. Uh, <laughs> his story, right, his story are those who predominantly write the curriculum and leave out certain things and put certain things in. That's, a, that's another class, another class. World history, the development of our faith. We're gonna talk about all three religions, our biblical and church history, and the cultural and spiritual survival as a people. It is my personal belief that a lot of our young people and a lot of our adults are dying through cultural suicide, which is really genocide, because if you don't know who you are, you can never find out where you're really going. Amen. These contributions will enhance the lives of people within the African diaspora, and believe it or not, we are in the African diaspora, who are applying their faith to live victoriously today, raising the level of our enthusiasm and our self-esteem. So if you follow the trail, I want to lift this up just a little bit, if you follow the trail, follow the heritage trail, to do that, you got to follow the what? Evidence. Ah, the evidence. Okay, let's go. Why this goal? Why share this information? When you control a man's... Anybody know who this guy is right here? Carter G. Woodson. Carter G. Woodson. Hit it one more time. Hit it one more time. Carter G. Woodson. He said this in 1936. Y'all read that with me. When you control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions. You do not have to tell him not to stand here or go yonder. He will find his proper place and will stay in it. You do not need to send him to the back door. He will go without being told. In fact, if there is no back door, he will cut one out for his own special benefit. Amen. I want that to sink in a minute. Yeah, man. When you control a person's thinking, and they will automatically do what they have been told. Hmm. Now I got act. I got a few of my members here, so y'all look at somebody at your table. Look at at your table. Oh, I gotta make y'all feel comfortable. Look, look about it. But just say, hmm. hmm. All right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I gotta do this quick. Take your time. <laughs> Why have these workshops? All right. This is another book, Carter G. Woodson. You recognize this? Yeah. Miseducation of the Negro. Although the infamous Emancipation Proclamation supposedly freed us, that's another conversation right there, yeah, supposedly freed us from chains and shackles, we still have what? Psychological, Psychological chains on our minds. Hosea the prophet said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. 